badges. For no reason at all, I'm going to go through all the different badger species and a few others that are related to badgers. Badgers are mostly omnivores who have a characteristic short and stocky build. They are also very protective of their young and can be quite ferocious creatures. Most species live in burrows called sets, living clans from around 2 to 15 individuals and are mostly nocturnal. I won't go into different subspecies of the different species of badgers, otherwise this will be a very long video. So let's get to it. I shall start off with what most people associate with the typical image of a badger. This is within the family of Mistildae, the subfamily of Milinae, and the three species in the genus Miles. I'll first talk about the European badger. This species can be found in all western and eastern parts of Europe, also found in Anatolia, the Levant, and some northern areas of the Middle East, so not exclusive to Europe. Notice the distinct two dark stripes on the white face. This is a reoccurring feature found in the genus Miles. I used to live in the countryside of Buckinghamshire in England and I've only come across badgers a couple of times during the night. Anyway, the next species within genus Miles is the Asian badger. This species looks very similar to the European badger, only that the Asian badger has a slightly lighter coloration as opposed to the darker grey tones of the European species. This species can be found in all areas of Siberia, western parts of the steppe, Mongolia, China, Manchuria and Korea. Lastly in the genus Miles is the Japanese badger. This species has a browner coat of fur. This species is found on the islands of Honshu, Kyoshu, Shikoku and Shodoshima. It is believed that the badger crossed into Japan through Korea when sea levels were lower and was cut off when they rose. As a result, over thousands of years, the badger evolved into its own species. Next on the list within the subfamily of Melinae is the genus Arctonyx, which only contains one species, the hog badger. These guys are generally smaller than the species like the European badger. The longer and flat tip to the hog badger's nose is obviously why the hog badger has its name. Hog badgers can be found in China and most parts of Southeast Asia. Unfortunately, the conservation status of this species is at a vulnerable level due to high levels of poaching. We return to the subfamily of Melinae and look at the genus Melogale, where all the ferret badgers are. It is speculative that these guys are more closely related to polecats and should be set within the subfamily of Helectidinae. The obvious appearance gives this away, however it is really seen on the genes and the DNA level. Anyway, this genus contains five species, the Burmese ferret badger, the Javan ferret badger, the Chinese ferret badger, the Bornean ferret badger and the Vietnamese ferret badger. All can be found within China and Southeast Asia. All species live within their respective territories, and some actually cross paths with one another. Unfortunately, the Bornean ferret badger is endangered due to rapid deforestation on the island. All animals on Borneo are becoming really threatened due to this deforestation, recently seen on the news where a Bornean orangutan tries to fend off a bulldozer in attempt to save his home. As a result to this deforestation, the species is limited to the forests on Mount Kinabalu and maybe some nearby regions. The Vietnamese ferret badger is a quite recent discovery and not a lot is known about it. It has a greyer coloration of what has been seen so far, but it is unknown whether it is threatened or not because nobody knows the population of the species. So currently, the IUCN have classified this species as data deficient. Just like the Bornean ferret badger, the Javan ferret badger is also threatened by the loss of habitat due to the deforestation forestation of Java. This is a reoccurring theme in Southeast Asia. Moving on to a whole different subfamily of badgers, we have the subfamily of Taxidinae. 
This is where we have the American badger. This species is different from the European type. However, it has its distinct, stocky, powerful build and the black and white markings on its face. This species can be found within Canada, the United States, and the majority of Mexico. There are several different subspecies as this particular species covers a large area of the world and has evolved to their habitats. Certain subspecies are endangered in some areas such as Canada. This is mostly because of the hunting of their fur. Unlike most species of badgers, the American badger can be found during the day, but this is only in some areas that are quite remote. Other than that, they are actually mostly nocturnal. American badgers have been found on rare occasions to hunt with coyotes, but this is only with a solitary badger and a solitary coyote. The American badger is closer related to an extinct species of badger, such as Chamitotaxus evitus, which lived in the late Miocene era, which is about six to five million years ago. Other species, such as Pliotaxidaea nevardensis and Pliotaxidaea Dea Garberi are somewhat related to American badgers. Last on the list of badgers is within a whole different family, which is the family Mephitidae. This family includes two species in the genus Mydaus, the Sunda stink badger and the Palawan stink badger. These badgers are old relatives of the old world skunks that used to live millions of years ago. As a result, stink badgers look very much different to any other species within the family Mustelidae. Stink badgers are considerably smaller than other badger species and have shorter tails. Both species seem to be classified as least concerned. However, it is likely some subspecies are threatened from human activity. Stink badgers follow similar characteristics to other badger species, where they are mostly nocturnal and mostly carnivals, but occasionally eating some plant life. The stink part of their name comes from the fact that they have a powerful spray to avoid predators. Both species of stink badgers look similar. However, the Palawan stink badger is slightly smaller than the Sunda and also has a longer coat of fur. And that's all the badger species. But wait, you're probably thinking about the honey badger. These guys are very much unrelated to badger species, despite the similar traits they have. Honey badgers are from a different branch of mammals in the Mastilidae family and are actually from the subfamily of Melivorne. And in many cases, the honey badger should really be referred to as a ratel. Plus, they are so widespread and diverse, they should be covered in a separate video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and apologies for the bad pronunciations of the Latin names. What species shall I cover in the next video? I'll be returning to some military history stuff at some point, so look out for that if you're interested. Have a good day and I shall see you in the next one.